Hi, this is video number six in the series of customization of a Suzuki Series knockoff harp. Uh, this one is augering the mouthpiece holes in the comb. Now, you see that little hole there? That's where the mouthpiece screw goes in. Now, when the slide on this design, which is a two-piece mouthpiece design. You have the slide, the mouthpiece on top, and then the comb. When the slide comes in and cuts at the bumper on this instrument, okay? When that happens, because this is flat here, the bumper sits right on top of this, and it's the, the lower edge of the bumper kind of sits right like that, and then the slide comes in, see? And the side whacks it right at its bottom. So that means the bottom of the bumper wears, which means fast wear of the bumper, far far faster than it would be. This is one of the downsides of Suzuki's design. One solution is to smooth the slot in the slide, which I've already done. So it's not sharp like a knife anymore, it won't cut the bumper. But the other idea is to take that bumper down approximately half a millimeter or a little bit more. And so to do that, I'm going to auger this by hand. And what will happen, this is just a drill bit that is the correct size. If you don't know the size, you would take the mouthpiece and you would put the drill bit in until it's the same size because that does fit the bumper, right? So that if a, if, a, if a drill fits that, then you can go ahead and drill. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to drill by hand into this comb, about a half a millimeter or three quarters of one millimeter, a little more than half a millimeter. And uh, that means that the bumper will be able to seat down and therefore the slide won't hit at the end, but instead more like up a little bit so you get a, a better shot at the bumper protection. Okay, so here we go. I'm gonna turn this down so you can see my work here, hopefully, and can enjoy it. I think I can bring you down. A little further. What do you think? We doing okay here? Okay, so this is pretty simple. You just kind of take it here and twirl it with your finger. And blow on it. You would never do something like this with a drill. It's too fine a hand work. You will go take out too much. This is a hand auger job and hand auger only. Now, that's about as far as I'm going in. Let's see if I can get it to figure that. Okay. Now I'll do it on the other side. I just lay the drill bit here. And just turn it. It'll stay centered. I think that's good enough. Not much, huh? Doesn't take much. Okay, and you do this, uh, if you were gonna sand the comb, which we're gonna do, you'd always wanna do it before you sand the comb. So uh, I'm just gonna do a test. You know, I always like to check and see my work. Uh, do I wanna take it a hair more? I do on this other side. I'm coming in just a little more. Just a little more, and this one is correct on this side again. It's always good, you know, the mark of a craftsman is you go back and look at your work and make sure that you're doing it the right way. You see there's some kind of some plastic on the end of that drill and this happens to have one of those uh, mate things on here so it makes it easier for me to hold. That completes the customization of this comb and we'll keep on going with our series.